Figure 1. Using a latex sponge wedge, wipe across the surface of the olive brown foundation to load the sponge with the cream-based makeup. Once properly loaded, the sponge is used to apply the foundation to the areas of the face as shown. Take great care when applying makeup near the eyes. Figure 2. Using your brush, it is now time to paint in your three shadowing, highlighting, and contouring shades in that order. First we select our dark ebony as our deepest shadowing color. Brush this color into the eye socket area closest to the eye. Also apply this color to the hollow of the cheeks, the nasal fold, and a few quick strokes on the upper lip. Next, select your warm bronze to use as a highlight. This goes on all raised areas or bony protrusions. Finally, apply the ebony around the outer circle of the eye, below the lower lip, on the sides of the nose, and at the top of the nose, towards the forehead. Blend the colors carefully to yield the results shown. Figure 3. Apply the black color to the nose, and use the black eyeliner pencil to deepen the color around the eyes. Once the face appears as you desire, it's time to powder. When the face is fully set, you will be able to touch the makeup and none will come off onto your finger. Figure 4. Begin the application of the crepe wool by starting with the neck. You will be building this facial hair as you would a shingle on a roof. Layer after successive layer, moving towards the center of the face. Select your hair from your pre-straightened bundle. Pull off just enough hair to create a one and a half inch wide light band of hair about four inches long. Trim the end of the hair straight across for easy application. Apply spirit gum to the neck just behind the jawbone from ear to ear. Press the cleanly trimmed end of the hair into the spirit gum on one side using the handle end of your brush. Repeat these steps across the band under the neck. Figure 5. Continue the shingling process under the chin. End this step with the application of three bundles of hair on the front of the chin. Figure 6. Apply hair up the jawline toward the ears. Apply your first strip of hair onto the forehead pulling the hair back into your subject's own hair. Figure 7. Apply additional hair across the forehead. Be sure not to drip spirit gum into the eyes. Figure 8. Continue filling in the edges of the face as your time and hair supply permits. Figure 9. Create eyebrows out of the crepe hair and spirit gum them onto your subject's own eyebrows. Add final crepe hair touches with small bits of hair attached around the inner perimeter of the face, giving the realistic growing hair appearance. Figure 10. Using your scissors, carefully trim your creation as desired. Figure 11 shows the addition of prescription eyewear. Figure 12, add a bit of blood for effect.